Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage video. I'm Rob, and today I shall be attempting to take this majorette Jeep Cherokee from Shabby to Shiny. And you heard right, this is a majorette, my first majorette on this channel, and it won't be the last. Um, I absolutely love this car, it's a beauty. And actually, um, my stepfather actually purchased this car for me recently. We were out with the family, and uh, we were at a place called uh, Battles Bridge Antique Centre, and uh, I was sat on the floor, my head in the box of cars, pulling them all out, and then I'd finished, looked behind, and all the cars had gone. And he'd kind of run off and bought them for me, so that's much appreciated. Uh, so uh, let's all say a big thanks to Gary for that one. Um, but anyway, we'll start by removing the rivet, just a single one, drilling down the centre of the post, removing the flange, and tapping that hole. Um, of course, please do remember to lubricate the end of your piece. You don't want to snap it in the hole. And I've always got my very handy vise, and it gets uh, a bit of use today. Uh, but not much of a roller. This uh, Jeep Cherokee, yeah, not having um, four wheels, that'll do it to a car. But uh, underneath, yeah, reads Majorette Jeep Cherokee, made in France, and it's number 236. And I've done a little bit of research just a few minutes ago, and uh, they made these from 1980 through to 2014. Lots of different kind of variations to that. But uh, this one appears to be the first run, 1980 to 1981. So, um, yeah, quite a nice one, this. But some great detail. I love kind of how bulky this looks. You know, the little dog in the back, is a, that's a beauty. But I pre-drilled this one, and we'll pop off the base to see what we're playing with. As I mentioned, I've not uh, done one of these before, so I'm seeing this for the first time trying to figure out how it works, how the suspension kind of goes together and actually I really like the way that it that it works the suspension on this is is perfect it's a bit of a shame really you know considering it is the old one that I'm missing a set of wheels but you know we're going to be putting on a, a kind of this is going to be a custom you know so we're going to be putting on a uh, like a, an aftermarket set shall we say but I'll put those to one side you never know if I may need them and then the interior pops out there. Look at that little dog in the back. What a beauty he is. And his bed. So yeah, good boy. Good boy. I uh, don't know what to call him. This is a French... Well, it's made in France, but it's an American car. Um, I don't know, Randy. That's quite a good name for a dog. Very American. Randy. So we pop out the glass in the yellowy orange colour, not my favourite, I prefer it to be clear, but at the same time, you know, it does look great with the uh, end result. But I do find that the kind of colour of the glass does dictate the colour of the car. So, you know, there we are. But uh, yeah, the tailgate there, I'll just leave it in white. But before I put this into any caustic soda, I wanted to find a suitable set of wheels. So this matchbox, so I still like to put a little bit of matchbox in all of the other brands that I do deal with uh, but yeah put a, I thought these kind of suited it perfectly so right size um, right look and, uh, and I, of course I don't mind cutting up this uh, this newer Range Rover so anyway we put the casting into some boiling water in my foot long hot dog jar and then a tablespoon of caustic soda A little bit extra just for luck. That's quite a large casting, um, and the paint was quite good. And I wondered whether, you know, this um, kind of amount of uh, caustic soda would work. Um, and I was considering to put some rather than putting more in. Um, in fact, yeah, no, I do put a little bit more in. And uh, this is really what I guess makes the change, makes the difference. And I'll put that to one side for just a few minutes to do its job. But whilst it's doing its job, I shall be popping in the plastic pieces here into some warm water. And then the windscreen, without any polishing required, I just dip it into the uh, pledge solution. It 
expensive if you're not in the UK that pledge solution it's pledge revive it floor polish but it really really is worth the uh, extra money but I'm gonna be using Ella's tool to uh, buff up the base and to be fair it didn't really do too much but it just you know it did, it did make it a little bit shinier and I've got these wheels off now that Range Rover and I'm gonna pop it in here and I'm just trying to figure out really how to do it how to do it properly and uh, you know I've got the I've got the rear ones in and then yeah the front ones are a bit of a bugger but like I say this is me learning on the job and it's easy enough for me to I guess edit this out but you know at the same time we're, we're learning together so ultimately I'm just trying to get the wheels under the suspension and you know it's getting caught up it's not working for me and then I think I've figured out what I need to do and that is to take the whole lot off pop the wheels into position and then come back with the suspension and it goes straight over the top no mucking around eventually I figured out it is nice and easy I was just trying to uh, make it look difficult to start with so yeah thumbs up from me finally got there and she rolls a very nice and it's got a nice little bit of suspension to it but I'm just gonna pop a bit of detail onto the front of this uh, base here with the lights and the grill so white paint on the lights a bit of orange for the indicators and then a bit of uh, the known oil for you know getting in the gaps of that grill just to make it look nice and realistic so it's probably been about 10 minutes now and uh, now all the paint is gone lovely jubbly and here we are wash down the sink and it's covered in this oxidization but it easily comes off with uh, the steel wire wool or steel wire attachment and uh, just a little bit of a preview there but after just a few minutes this is how it turns out very nice we use the Tamiya fine surface primer in white this particular can has been going for some time actually and I've got quite a few backup cans so I think I'm good for a while but I'll put on one decent layer over this whole casting making sure to hit all the angles making sure that everything is covered and you should be able to see there in the reflection beautiful and then I went to the community tab and said what colours do you want to see this and uh, there was one in particular that said keep it green but with like a gold fleck and I thought that sounds interesting so I literally done a 50-50 mix with no thinner this stuff comes straight out and I looked at this and I thought yes this, this is a bit of me this colour and uh, I thought it would be perfect for this Jeep Cherokee today
So with the first coat done, it's already looking very snazzy and uh, yeah, getting excited about this one. And then probably five minutes later, hit it up with a second coat and that'll do me for today. Uh, that is, yeah, I'm really happy with this. It did need some lacquer because it does kind of dry a little bit dull. Uh, but it's the following day now, so we've got the windscreen there nice and dry. And we've got the body of the car there, really happy with this colour. Um, I'd like to paint in this colour, Rob's green, <laughs> Rob's goldy green. Um, and then you've got the base there. And then I painted Little Dog, Malcolm, the Chocolate Lab. You see his little towel there. And then I put a little bit of detail in the uh, rear number plate. I'm going to detail up this a bit more, kind of side lights, rear lights, and uh, door handles, etc. For the big reveal, but as a little reminder of what she looked like. And this is the result. So you've got the side blinkers there, a bit of chrome on the door handle, kind of uh, on the gas cap there, rings on the back. I don't know what they're for, but I'll put a little bit of chrome on it anyway. You see the paint around the back, little dog poking through. The wheels on this, I think, actually do really suit it, and I'm really happy with that. It's a beautiful colour. Stick around to the end of the video because I'll kind of do it in a bit of uh, sunlight. But anyway, I just want to thank my patrons, and again, to thank to Gary for uh, buying me this car, plus a ton of others that uh, you'll see soon. But anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. Please like the video, and I'll see you on the next one. And then for those that stick around, I think you can really see the gold here. Uh, you know, it's almost like the gold is on the base layer, and the green is on the top, and at different kind of angles you can see the gold come through it's like dark at certain angles light at certain angles gold at certain angles it's beautiful it really is nice and I'm happy with this and I'm gonna gift this um, you know gift it to Gary now and uh, hopefully uh, he'll enjoy it as well